All right, let's give you the setup now. A couple of Josh names that report after the bell. Sweet Green trading at 52-week uh, high. What do we think? Yeah, small position of mine, but a relatively new name that I'm hoping to learn a lot more about how things are going on the call along with everyone else. But uh, the stock has obviously been uh, rallying furiously all year. And uh, if they have another good quarter like they had last time, I don't see why it has to stop. Yeah, it's um, about a five day win streak, I think. Um, yeah. Toast also reports you bought it again last Monday around twenty nine bucks. Where is it now? It's at thirty two. So it's up a bit. It's up again. It's up again today. Uh, what's interesting is that you have fifty two percent buys, forty five percent holds and three percent sells, but reasonably evenly split between the buys and the holds. I'm going to tell you what the bears say. Because this is the thing that I think they could be wrong. And I could be wrong. I don't know how tonight's earnings will go. The Bears say the payment space is crowded and uh, everyone's going to be fighting for market share. Okay, maybe. But the truth is, in technology, most of the markets that we have are basically winner takes all. Toast is the most focused on the restaurant space, talking about 100,000 uh, users. And every time they get their payment processing technology, into another restaurant or chain of restaurants. That is the Trojan horse by which they sell all of the related services, everything from employee payroll to food ordering systems for the chef, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. They have flywheel markets now all over the country where they have huge market share and they can expand out horizontally, which will make this a profitable business going forward. So um, that's my take. Wish me luck tonight. I have no idea what the number will be, but uh, Good luck, I, I, I think the stock will work. Jimmy, Sweet of you. such a gentleman. That's why I love you. <laughs> gentleman Jimmy.